the best stocks to buy in February. So far in 2023 we had a great start. The S&P 500 is up almost 6% and we have some interesting results coming in with the earnings seasons. In this video I'm going to show you my favorite stocks that I'm planning to buy during February. Some of them are already in my portfolio and some of them are on my watch list. I'm very excited to see what you guys think about these stocks so please let me know your thoughts in the comments. My name is Thomas and this is Thomas Invest. I'm an investor looking for great stocks at great prices. First stock on this list is Starbucks, which is the world's largest coffee house chain. And next to that also my favorite dividend growth stock. It is the biggest stock in my portfolio. Starbucks is up 7.5% year to date, which is quite interesting. They will present quarter results on the 2nd of February, with 15 analysis expected beat and 4 analysis expected miss on earnings. In the latest earnings, Starbucks beat on both EPS and revenue, so I'm feeling very confident about the next earnings. Starbucks is a 125 billion market cap company with a PE ratio of 38, which means you pay a premium for the stock. Revenue is going up really nice and steady, and of course we see a drop during the lockdown periods. Nothing that concerns me right now. Margins are going up and down quite a bit, which is something to keep your eye on. Especially since most recently margins are going down. However, in the latest earnings report they expect margins to increase again. So let's see what the next earnings brings us. One of the main reasons why I love Starbucks is because of the dividends. Dividend yield is sitting at 1.96%, which is pretty decent. Starbucks has an annual payout of $2.12 a share and payout ratio is at 67%, which is a bit on the high side to be honest. I prefer 50% or lower. The 5 year growth rate is at almost 14%, which is really good. They grew the dividends for 12 years in a row, which is also quite impressive. Analysis expect EPS to grow at almost 20% a year, which is really nice. And revenue is expected to grow at 10 to 12% a year which is also very nice. There's still plenty of room to grow for Starbucks. But what about the price target for Starbucks? Well, let's check the three price targets that I created using the Everything Money software, which is one of the best tools out there. I'm using a low, mid and high assumption to get the three price targets. We have a low price target of $64, which is a big drop. We have a mid price target of mid 90s, which is just below the current stock price. And we have a high price target of $130 to $140. To me, the mid to high price target is the most justified, and I can't wait for the full earnings report and to do a full analysis for Starbucks. Overall, Starbucks is a great dividend growth stock with still a lot of potential. For now, I'm waiting for the earnings, and from there, I'm going to increase my position slowly. Next stock on this list is Extra Space Storage, ticker symbol EXR. But before we take a deep dive into this company, I want to thank you a lot for watching this video. I just opened a Discord channel, which you can join for free. I won't charge anything. The goal is to create a community group where we can all talk about stocks. Make sure to join this Discord channel right now. I will put a link down in the description. Let's continue by analyzing the second stock on this list. EXR owns and operates over 2000 self storage properties in 41 states. EXR is up 8% year to date, which is again quite interesting. They will present quarterly results on the 22nd of February, where all 9 analysis expect a miss. So I'm really looking forward to the earnings to see what's going to happen there. In the latest earnings, EXR beat on FFO, EPS and revenue. So I'm feeling quite confident about these next earnings to be honest. EXR is a 20 billion market cap company with a PE ratio of 21, but since this is a read, I'm using the FFO ratio, which sits at 20 right now. It means you pay a small premium for the stock. Revenue is going up really nice and steady, which comforts me a lot. During the lockdown periods and also after the lockdown periods, revenue went up quite a lot as well. Margins are going up as well, so that's also something really nice. Let's see what the upcoming earnings is going to tell us about the current margins and expectations. One of the main reasons why people love EXR is because of the dividends. Dividend yield is sitting at 3.92%, which is pretty high. EXR has an annual payout of $6 a share, and payout ratio displayed here isn't correct since REITs use an FFO to pay out the dividend. 
Based on the FFO, payout ratio is at 77%, which is pretty average for a REIT, so this looks quite good. The 5 year growth rate is at almost 14%, which is really good for a REIT. They grew the dividends for 12 years in a row, which is also quite impressive. Analysis expect EPS to grow at low, mid, single digits, which is pretty good for a REIT. And revenue is expected to grow at mid single digits as well. But what about the price target for EXR? Well, let's check the three price targets that I created using the Everything Money software. I'm using a low, mid and high assumption to get the three price targets. I'm only focusing on the discounted cash flow value since PE ratio isn't a great way to evaluating a read. We have a low price target of $122, which is a big drop from the current stock price. We have a mid price target of $155, which is just below the current stock price, and we have a high price target of $195. To me, the mid to high price target is again the most justified, and could indicate that EXR is undervalued. Overall, EXR is a great dividend growth stock with still a lot of potential. Right now, I don't have any shares of EXR, but I'm planning to open a position very soon. Last stock on this list is Qualcomm, one of my favorite stocks that I don't have in my portfolio right now. Qualcomm is an American company that primarily designs semiconductor and wireless communication technologies and products. Qcom is up almost 24% year to date, which is quite a lot. They will present quarter results on the 2nd of February, where all 19 analysis expect a miss. And this may sound crazy, but I hope they will miss earnings and the stock price will go down big time. As I said, I don't own Qualcomm right now, but I really want to open a position very soon. So when the stock price comes down and there's only a short term miss on the earnings, I have the perfect situation and opportunity to buy Qualcomm long term. In the latest earnings, Qualcomm only beat on revenue, so I'm feeling a bit mixed about these next earnings. Especially as we all saw what happened with Intel. Qualcomm is a 149 billion market cap company with a PE ratio of only 12, which could mean that they are undervalued. Revenue was going up and down historically, but since the lockdown periods and the rising demand for chips, the revenue went up big time. Margins are going up and down quite a bit as well, so this is something to keep your eye on. And let's see what the next earnings brings us. One of the main reasons why I love Qualcomm is because they are a big tech company that pays a pretty high dividend. Dividend yield is sitting at 2.28%, which is pretty high for a tech company. Qualcomm has an annual payout of $3 a share and payout ratio is at only 22%. The 5 year growth rate is at only 5.5%, which is a bit disappointing to be honest. They grew the dividends for 19 years in a row, which is quite impressive. Analysis expect EPS and revenue to go up and down quite a bit, so that's very interesting. That gets me even more excited about the upcoming earnings. And what about the price target for Qualcomm? Well, let's check the three price targets that I created using the Everything Money software. I'm using a low, mid and high assumption to get the three price targets. We have a low price target of $77 to $137 a mid price target of $99 to $166 and a high price target of $126 to $200. To me, the mid price target is the most justified here, meaning they are right in the middle of the price target with some upward potential in stock price. Overall, Qualcomm is a great tech company that also pays a pretty high dividend, and of course, with still a lot of potential. For now, I'm waiting for the earnings and from there I'm going to open a position very soon. This was my top 3 favorite stocks to buy during February. Of course I'm waiting for the earnings that could have an impact on the fundamentals and the future of the company. But looking at the current performance of these companies I'm feeling quite confident about the future. It would be great though if the stock price comes down. I would love to increase or open a position at much lower prices of course. I think this is a great mix of growth and dividend stocks and these companies have been on my radar for a long time. Very soon I will do a full analysis on all of these stocks and I will let everybody know when I will open a position. And remember to always do your own research and never fully trust on what I or other YouTubers say about a stock. I'm not a financial advisor and this content is just for entertaining purposes only. I hope you liked this video and I did bring some insights of the company to you. I would really appreciate a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to get notified when I'm posting a new video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.